Good morning everybody, it's me again, Crazy Bag Lady. Thank you again for joining me. Uh, really, really nice of you to join me every day. I think, oh gosh, here I am again. Uh, right, so it's Wednesday. The sun has got its hat on again, yay! Although I think this might be one of the last days the sun has its hat on for a little while. I've looked at my phone and it shows blooming rain every day. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, it's horrible. Um, anyway, hello ladies. Hello everybody. Peggy and her crew. Hope <laughs> you're all okay. Um, this morning, my husband got off of work mega early. He left about half six, quarter to seven, and I couldn't, I just laid there, I thought, oh, I'm awake. So I got up, I'd awake, got back in bed, looked on my phone, and then I thought, mm, I do feel a tiny bit tired. So I shut my eyes, I woke up again at ten past nine. Oh, you know, I should have just got up, but I didn't want to get up because it was dark, and I thought, well, I should put all the lights on and stuff, and it's the holiday, so I wanted to relax. I really wish I'd got up because I went back to sleep, had the most stupid dream ever, I dreamt that... I'd fell out with my family, I didn't want to go out for a meal with them, but ended up at the same pub as them or something, some rubbish. And then I dreamt that the car park was full of pink cars and my mum's car, because my mum's car was quite pink. I dreamt that my mum's car got stolen and nobody knew the registration number so we couldn't find it. And Oh, what an absolute load of rubbish, the most stupidest dream ever. But it makes you feel horrible and I woke up and thought, I feel awful. I feel absolutely awful, like spaced out and weird and horrible and... And it's now five to ten and I'm only just sort of getting ready. It's like, oh, next time I will get up. <laughs> so moral of the story is don't go back to sleep. <laughs> it's horrible. Anyway, so I need to liven myself up. Wednesday, calendar of the day. Clothes make a statement, costumes tell a story. Oh, that's so true. Into I love clothes, as you know. Love jumpers, coats, jackets. I just love clothes so much. I should have worked in a clothes shop. Love them. Right, so magic of the day. Let's get it right this time. So, this was the one we read twice yesterday, but we're going to read it again. So, there is magic, but you have to be the magician. You have to make the magic happen. And it's very true. You have to make your own way in life. And if you want something to change, you have to change it. And let's have a little bit of midlife crisis as well while we're at it. We might as well, haven't we? Um, so this is what got from the tarot shot yesterday, but it's so funny. Um, so, you're ageing when your actions creak louder than your words. That's so funny, isn't it? When you're old, your body creaks and your knees knock and your teeth fall out. Oh, great. You know you're getting old when everything hurts and what doesn't hurt doesn't work. <laughs> it's so funny happy wednesday right so it's quarter past ten can't believe it's quarter past ten so today's jobs james fetched me some work top oil last night on his way in from work check so we've got some work top oil so we can all my work tops i noticed this morning um somebody's put something on my work top look and it won't come off and i don't know what it is i'm very sad um I'm hoping when I oil it, it'll come out, but it might not. I don't know what it is. Um, so I've got to oil the work tops. Um, and then everybody's voted that I film my decorating vlog as I go along. So you don't want me to do a separate video. So we'll just film it as we go along. So at some point we do need to strip the wallpaper. But whether we get it done today or not, I don't know. Um, and I would like to go to chair shop, but we're just going to run out of time, aren't we? Oh, and also, it's slow cooker day. Today we are testing out the slow cooker. So... I presume I probably need to switch that on soon as well because obviously it's like a long, slow process rather than a fast process. So we do need to do that as well. What do you think? Slow cooker day. Why have you got your bum in the air? What are you doing? Why is your bum in the air? Put your bum down. Put your bum down. You look like you've got no front legs. What are you doing? You're very strange. <laughs> right, anyway, so we need to get some breakfast. Right, she's going. Bye, Ruby. She's going out shopping with her grandma. Have a lovely day while Cinderella gets left at home to do the cooking and cleaning. <laughs> right, breakfast. Can't believe it's half ten. Breakfast. So we've got 30 grams of shredded wheat, which I absolutely love these. I've not had them for ages. With blueberries, um, skimmed milk. Just got my stuff out that I started to need from slow cooker thing. So we'll eat this quick and then look at how long we have to cook the slow cooker recipe for. Right, boring job. So I've got to wash my bowl. Give this a wipe over. I think it's got a little bit dusty in my cupboard. Um, and then we'll see if we can produce some sort of meal. I've no idea what to do with a slow cooker. I've never ever had one, never used one. 
So this is going to be quite an experience. I hope it works out okay. Because I know a lot of people do love them. And a lot of people on my channel have said, oh, Jane, you'll love it. So I really hope that I do. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a learning curve. But you're never too old to learn anything. Okay, so this is the ingredients that you need. So it's a meatball. Hang on, let me check what it's called. Hang on. Slow cooker, meatball and onion gravy with onion. <laughs> Slow cooker meatballs with onion gravy, rich and sort of thick and lovely. So this is the ingredients. So I've got two packs of these meatballs. Um, I'm going to make it for three of us because James is not here tonight. So I've got some garlic puree, tomato puree, an onion, Dijon mustard, some onion salt, oregano, salt and pepper, Liam Perrin's Worcester sauce, um, a stock pot, some gravy. And that's all you need. And obviously slow cooker and your pan because you've got to brown your meatballs first. I'll run through it with you. No idea what it's going to taste like. So it might not work out the best, but we'll try. Mm. So I've checked my recipe and it said you can either cook it on slow for seven hours, which means it wouldn't be ready till six or we can do it on high for four hours so i'm thinking maybe i can do it on four i can't make my mind up oh my god this is ridiculous because i want to knit a charity shop this afternoon and i kind of i don't want to leave it running on its own when i've never used it before if that makes sense so then i think perhaps put it on slow and then enjoy tea a little bit later tonight i think that's what we'll do we'll put it on slow so i'm here for a few hours this morning while it starts cooking just to keep an eye on it then we'll be okay to leave it later so let's just make it we'll have tea a bit later tonight be fine so the first thing we have to do is brown the meatballs and the onion. Okay, so I've browned my meatballs, I've browned my onion rings. There's two tablespoons of tomato puree gone in it, two tablespoons of Worcester sauce, one tablespoon of mustard, mm. teaspoon of oregano, teaspoon of garlic puree, and a teaspoon of the onion salt or onion granules have gone in. Make your beef stock pot with 400 millimetres of boiling water, tip that in, and then you want two tablespoons of gravy granules with 50 millilitres of water, and then put that in. Right, so that's all the ingredients in there. I think you swizzle it out a bit. So I'm cooking mine on low for so seven to eight hours. So I really hope that it's going to work out right because you think, oh, it's so cosy and it's really, really cold outside. Um, I'm not sure if you're supposed to warm your slow cooker up first. Obviously, I didn't. So whether I've made a bit of a schoolboy error, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to put a lid on. And then I don't, I suppose you stir it ever so often. Obviously, I've never used a slow cooker before, so I don't know. Um, but I, I'll give it a poke every so often. So I'm just going to leave it there and put the lid on. Oh, oh, so excited. Ooh, right, so it's on the cook. It's on the cook. So we're only about quarter past six. I'm so excited. I can't believe how excited I am. So I'm just testing out some lipsticks that I found in my drawer yesterday. <coughs> oh, sorry, what's occurring over here? Spot the problem. I didn't realise Dolly hadn't eaten her breakfast, so she's still got a few nuts left in a bowl. And obviously Florence went to investigate and Dolly didn't like it. Oh, is she trying to steal Dolly's breakfast? I don't blame you. Right, so I've tested a bit of red gloss. Look at this. Ooh, we're very red and glossy this morning. My hair looks a bit windswept, doesn't it? Poor, my eyes are stinging a bit. I've been chopping obviously those onion rings and my eyes really don't like onions. I have to use red onions, can't use white onions. If I use white onions, I literally, I cry for non-stop for absolutely ages. So red ones I find not quite so strong, but it still like, irritates my eyes. So, red lipstick. Right, I'm now trying to clear my work tops. So we've gone back in time to finish what we started yesterday. So we've got to clear it all and then oil them. I love this song. Absolutely love this song. It gives me a lump in my throat because it's like reminds me of saying goodbye to my dad and it's so emotional, but I love it so much. Let the sun shine in. Let the sun shine in, let the sun shine in. Where is my chandelier? Where is it? <laughs> it takes quite a long time to wind its way back. But I'm sort of figuring that the sun is out, so it will hopefully warm up the conservatory and then let a bit of heat into the kitchen. Come on. 
Right, no good faffing anymore, Jane. Get on with your workshop. <laughs> so I'm just finishing my tea, then the oiling will be in. Are you okay under there when you're fried? Right, I've got my gloves. Let's get oiling. Look at her under there, bless her. Right, so you literally drop a bit on. I'm using the run seal workshop oil. This is one I always use because I like it. And then you just buff it in, and then you come back with a clean cloth in a minute, and then buff it again. So this is it before. You see it's got no shine to it and it's very sort of dull when I, I use this bit quite a lot for doing my wash powder and stuff on for the washing machine. And then we'll see it after. Oh, finished. My arms are aching from buffing. But I've done it. I think the marks come out from here. Um, although I can still see it in some lights. But it's a home, it's used, what can you do? And I think it's about eight years old. So say this is eight year old worktop. Not doing bad. Hmm. So it's now 20 past 12. I'm now thinking I don't want to put anything back on them. Um, it looks so much nicer when there's not so much stuff on them, but it's very difficult, isn't it? Because it's a home and we use it and it's a kitchen. So it's just that it looks nice with not quite so much stuff on it. So I'm wondering if I can put stuff on it, but maybe not quite so much. But don't microwaves take up a lot of room? Like my microwave fills a big chunk of my kitchen. Right, next job sorting another cupboard out so i'm working my way around my cupboards these next few weeks so this is another cupboard it was just full of like paperwork and hand sanitizer and stuff and a five pound chip from the casino which i don't even know if they still use these chips oh, it's worth five pound i can't believe my husband the last time i went to the casino was about two years ago or maybe even longer probably four years ago and he came over this in his pocket what a wally so it's a five pound i love the feel of them they're lovely Ooh, look at my fancy dinner. So, do you want to look at my slow cooker? Are you ready? Ta -da. It's smelling nice. The only trouble is it makes you blooming hungry. <laughs> so it's half past one, I'm a bit late for my dinner, but James has just nipped back to see me. So I was slow, showing him a slow cooker, he thought it looked very tasty. So I've rushed myself up some dinner. So I've got some of my leftover chicken from the other day. So I've got chicken and stuff in, a bit of salad in a little mini wrap. So off to enjoy that and then the nips chair shop I think. Oh and it's dropped a bit chilly so I put the fire on. Lovely. Is it blowing on you? Is it nice and warm? Not showing me dinner yet. Go away, I'm not showing me dinner yet. No, you have to wait. And I've saved them a bit of bacon. Right, are you ready? Dolly, Florence and Winifred. Where are you, Winifred? Oh, Dolly, move. Winnie. Here you go, Winnie. No. Right, there you go. Quick, eat it. Quick. <laughs> Quick. Ooh, is that nice? Uh, you don't need to lick my fingers. Stop. <laughs> Stop with the lickiness. Did you like that? Was it nice? Yeah, lovely. Right, we're ready. So we're going. We're going for a little rummage. I've got to fetch some broccoli anyway. Um, I'm a lottery, so... Without further ado, let's go. So I've got my little black dress on, chunky boots, um, my jacket thing that I got from Tesco last week, my little grey bag. Let's go. We've arrived in Percy. Yay. I have a new addition to Percy. Look at this. This is Frank. Frank wobbles while I drive along. He's very cute. I love him. Right, let's go for a rummy.
Yeah, it keeps busy, isn't it? Uh, oh, yeah. Back in the car. Frank's looking after the car, Frank. And Papa. <laughs> and everybody else that's in here with me. Oh, it makes you feel so cosy, doesn't it? Right, anyway, let's go home. I'm home. So it is nearly, it's five to three. Um, so I'm home and I think, mm, I could probably take the dogs for a quick walk. When I left the little village, the sky was very black. Um, so I think it might rain at some point unless it blows over. But obviously it's supposed to rain a lot after today, which is such a shame because it's been so lovely and so like nice and like wintry but nice. Um, and it's going to rain and spoil itself again. Um, anyway, so I could just sit here for a few minutes. It's so peaceful. See what I mean? No dogs, no children. Anyway, we need to go in. Stir my slow cooker. Mm -hmm. What we're thinking? What we're thinking? Ooh. It smells lovely. Does it smell nice? So it's only three o'clock, so it still needs, what, four, five, six, another three hours. Wow, it's going to be delicious. I'm sure it is. <laughs> Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah, it's exciting, isn't it? Oh, there's your lead. <laughs> 
the reality. Come here. Right, come here. <laughs> come, keep still. Keep still. Right, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Right, wait. Hang on. Oh, honestly, it's so difficult to catch her. Right, give me a little leg. Again, that's it. Where's your little leg? And then we've got to find Florence and Winifred as well, see if they want to come. Ooh. Honestly, trying to fasten up Dolly's coat is so, so difficult. She's so fluffy and I'm always scared to pull her fur. Win? Yes, win. Right, let's go and find the others. <laughs> Hmm. And as you can see, Winifred's not very impressed. Are you coming? Come on, because it's going to rain for ages after today, so it'll do you good to come. Come with me. Right, are we ready? One lead, two lead, three leads. We're a bit tangled up. Shh, be quiet. Shush. We've got to do this as well. Be quiet. Come on, look, you're stuck around your bottom, that's it. Come on then. I'm home. I really need to put some stuff back on my work top, so I'm just enjoying having nothing on them at the minute. Uh, my dinner smells delicious. Oh, it smells really nice. Anyway, so it's half three. Let's get a cup of coffee. Winifred, why are you sat there like that? Hey, why are you sat there like that? It's not warm, it's the dishwasher and it's not on. Is that how you feel when you come back from a walk? You just have to sit there like that. Hey, just tired. Is that the Wednesday afternoon feeling? Mm. Are you working your way closer to the slow cooker? <laughs> You've got a couple more hours to wait yet, my dear. Okay, so it's nearly five o'clock. So it needs, well, you're supposed to give it another hour, but I well, an hour and 15 minutes, but I think it'll be ready soon because it looks pretty ready. The only thing I've done different, I did add a tiny bit more gravy granules into it because it did look a bit runny. <laughs> Um, so I showed it to him and we were like, I think we need to thicken it up a bit, but maybe we should have waited, but it has started to give it a, a lot thicker sort of texture, because otherwise it was just like water, so it's looking very brown and very tasty, so I'm just doing my mash and my veg to go with it, um, it's making my mouth water, <laughs> look at this, oh, I hope it's going to taste nice. We're still waiting. I really should have made it earlier. If I hadn't gone back to sleep in our stupid dream, I'd have got up earlier and it would have been ready now. So we're all waiting. And Dolly's run off with a piece of chewing gum wrapper and thinks it's wonderful. Right, I've caved. I've caved in. So it should have about another 10 minutes, but I'm so hungry I can't wait any longer. So this is it. I'm going to doll it up. Get it on my plate. I'll let you know. Right, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. Look, my husband's anchoring because he's so hungry. He's like, feed me now. Um, off to enjoy it. Oh, lovely. So, I will let you know. I've even got Brussels. So I've got mashed potato Brussels and broccoli with it. Oh. Oh, what can I say? It was speechless. Absolutely speechless. It was absolutely bloody delicious. 
and I cannot recommend it enough. It was so, so, so tasty. So I've given my dogs a little tiny blob each as well. Here you go, Flora. No, that's not yours. Tell me. I know, it's amazing. But I'm so full, I can't move. <laughs> I'm so full. No, wait, that's not yours. No, 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 no. Yours is over here, and you know it is. Right. Are you ready? Let's go. <laughs> um, Ruby hasn't eaten hers yet because she had McDonald's with her grandma when she went out so she's not hungry and my hubby did leave a bit of his let me so my hubby did leave a tiny bit because they said it was just too full so i think i probably did do a little bit too much mashed potato because james isn't here and i kind of did as much as if james was here i left a little bit of gravy but oh my gosh it was delicious absolutely delicious right, what did we buy today so i bought a jigsaw um because some of you said you were doing christmas jigsaws and i thought i saw this and i thought that was so nice it was three pound fifty. look how much it was when it was new it was 18 pound it's like a special edition one and I save it till obviously like november december time but i thought oh it's so christmasy and so cute so i bought that and then i bought this which is a real pearls and it's cultured pearls. It was five pound. I don't know whether that was too much or not, but they are real pearls. They're gritty when you rub your teeth on them, which I know is a way to show if they're real or not. Um, and they kind of change color in different lights. It's really funny. Sometimes they look bronze and sometimes they look green. And I just thought it was so nice. Hang on, let me let my dog out. Mm, so I think they're very pretty. Very unusual and I can't believe they changed colour and I've got to clean all this I've got to clean my hob obviously wipe my work top down and stuff and it's like I've had to hand wash some pans because my dishwasher's full oh and the fire is on right my dears I'm going to love you and leave you so the slow cooker my verdict absolutely loved it the food was absolutely beautiful does take a bit of time which sounds absolutely ridiculous because obviously it's a slow cooker so i should have made it earlier this morning and then it would have been ready for like five ish which is when we like to have tea rather than having it like quarter past six um by the time we'd done the veg and stuff it was getting on for half six it was a bit late for us um but it was delicious it was absolutely delicious i don't know whether i felt like it was worth all the work because my hubby left some and then Ruby said she's too full, she's going to have hers tomorrow. So you kind of feel a bit deflated that not everybody sat and really enjoyed it. But it was absolutely delicious. Honestly, it was one of the nice things I've ever tasted. The texture and the richness of the meat and everything. It was just absolutely beautiful. So please go and make it, even if you only make it once. Please go and make it. It was so, so tasty. And it was easy, really. Obviously, I think the next time you make it, you've already done it before, so you kind of know, so it makes it easier. And it was delicious. I loved it. It was really, really nice. And I am going to look at some of the recipes and see if I can try and make something else well. So, yeah, I really liked it. It was lovely. I should have just made it a little bit earlier. So, anyway, many thanks for joining me again today. I hope you've enjoyed it. So, if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. My dogs have got Instagram, which is Three Fluffles. My website is down below. My vintage shop's down below. My Able down below it's all down below so i love you and leave you i'll see you tomorrow and i'm still full it was delicious see you tomorrow bye